We are learning more about a South Bay High School football player killed by a suspected drunk driver. 16-year-old Armando Canales was riding in a car with five other people early Saturday morning when another car hit them head-on on Highway 17. KPX 5's Kit Doe reports from Fremont where his friends are reeling from this loss. Kit. Armando Canales was a popular junior here at Washington High School in Fremont. His mother was too distraught to talk on camera. Instead of going to brunch and opening up a card and getting balloons from her son, instead today, on this Mother's Day, she spent it planning his funeral. If there is one thing Armando Canales knew how to do, it was pick good friends. They came together to deliver flowers to his grieving mom on Mother's Day. She was in a very bad state. She was uh, crying, and she, she told me, she said, uh, he'd be very happy that you were here. And, you know, I was, I was telling her, you know, I'm here for you. You're like a second mother to me. The day before Mother's Day is when you have to lose your son. Like, I don't wish that upon, like, anybody. The CHP says 28-year-old Ashley Marie Oliver was in the southbound lanes of Highway 17 near the summit, but she was going the wrong way when she actually passed a patrol unit. That patrol car turned around as fast as it could, but it was too late. Investigators say Oliver crashed her minivan head-on into a Toyota Corolla with five teenagers inside. Armando was in the left rear seat and died at the scene. The CHP says he was not wearing a seatbelt. The others suffered moderate to serious injuries. Oliver herself went to the hospital with a leg injury and was booked into the county jail on charges of felony DUI and vehicular manslaughter. He had everything ahead of him. He had so much to go for. And somebody just drank and realized they wanted to go out and drove the wrong way and got into an accident. I just hope people can learn from it. Raised by a single mom, Armando was a defensive end who sometimes played running back for the Washington High Huskies junior varsity team. A GoFundMe page is closing in on its $10,000 goal to help pay for the funeral. He was such a likable guy because he just stood up for everybody. He stood up for what he believed in. Upon graduation in 2020, he and Julio Valdez had planned on becoming firefighters together. We laughed, joked, we argued. And it's just like a brotherhood. Every day, we would just be brothers no matter what. No matter what we went through thick and thin together. I love you. There is a candlelight vigil planned at the school flagpole on Monday at 6 p.m. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.